right, so new KOF characters came out today. So we're going to be looking at Terry first. A uh, little bit of a shaft in the banner. I don't have Yori uh, finished up yet, but we did max out our boy Terry. Um, he... But both of these characters are interesting. Like, it's... It's one of those characters that I can't really tell you right on if they're really good or really bad. It's just only time will tell. Um, it, it looks a bit promising. Um, by the way, the slime game just came out today. You might have seen on my on your sub box. Uh, so I'm planning on just playing the game all day after recording this video. But if you do want to see Yori's showcase today, um, if this video gets like, 2.5k likes by the end of the day i'll post it if not i'm just gonna post slime game videos because honestly i just want to play slime but if the demand is there then there will be the yori showcase as well because i i, I can't be asked bro it takes too long to level up a character these days in any case what does terry do um his passive is reduces all stats of one enemy on the enemy team which will be the enemy with the most hp uh, by 20%. It reduces all stats by 20% of that enemy. Applies when entering battle. Now, one thing that I want to keep you in mind. His Holy Relic is relevant. Because the materials used for the Holy Relic are not the same for the bird. I don't have an unlocked already. Because you need some time to actually get the materials. Um, but I will be making a follow-up showcase with the Holy Relic. So, just tr to preface. The Holy Relic uh, is that once he uses a stun, it cleanses all debuffs on him and increases all stats by 20 for 20% for two turns. It's a pretty good holy relic. So that will keep that that will make him better. Keep that in mind. I just don't have it unlocked yet because I don't even know how to. I just know that it's from the KOF events, which I will find out uh, sometime. Uh, but so his cards take off ultimate gauge same take off ultimate gauge as uh, Red East, and I thought it was gonna be the same one as like Tarmio and uh, Merlin, but you can see the takeoff two ultimate gauges. No, this is the same one as the newest Red Easton. Uh, counter card. Interesting counter card. Brand new counter card. Um, for one turn, takes a stance, increases damage dealt by 20%, and counters attacks on any of your allies by 180%, similar to Blue Fat King. Um, and then it goes to two turns, 30%, two for 70, 50%, 450. His ultimate is, I like, the biggest thing about him. 735% AoE, Power Strike. Power Strike is like a, one of the craziest damaging abilities right now. And he has it as an AoE ultimate. He, his ultimate is going to slap so hard. Now, stats wise. Not looking crazy. I'm not going to lie. This is Max Cosmetics. I got all the Cosmetics. Not, I haven't leveled up to Cosmetics. But Max Cosmetics... Not the greatest crit chance, not the greatest crit resistance, decent pierce, okay resistance. All in all, it's a very average amount of stats that he has. Um, listen, I'll be honest, I'm, I don't know what to use with him. I just don't. Like, Actually, I kind of want to use a Starosa, um in the back. Just for the sake of the uh, Sterosa passive, because I'm going to be using, um, you know, the the taunt. But is it even worth using Saurio? Am I even going to crit? His crit chance is so low. I think, so his his links are horrendous. Fat King and and small, um, I mean, they're, they're both small, but um, old Valenti, that's a yikes. I'm going to put Tarmio, I guess. I'm going to use it like this. Might not be his best team. Like, this is... Early on, showcases are always like this, right? We do try, see if we come up with a team that's good for them. But ultimately, either uh, they don't have a team that's good at all. Um, or that will be the best team and it's just okay. But you know what's really good? <laughs> Gave ourselves. Uh, wait. Did they... Did they make the... I, Whoa, it was in the corner, right? Now it's in the middle. Whoa, they're so small. Whoa, the icons are so small. By the way, I lowered Merlin's HP. Whoa. The icons are so small now. Anyways. Which you can buy with... <laughs> oh, 
in the link in the description for 10% off using cold nag. Unbelievable, right? Bro, I was just thinking actually. Speaking of. Man, it'd be so crazy if they sold gamer subs in like gasified cans. Like monster. Like in stores, that'd be crazy. Because the flavors are so good. But um they're not gasified. And it's annoying to make the shaker with, like, you know, gasified water. Or sparkling water. It's gas. Um, okay. I'm gonna attack her. Just to see damage. I'm gonna increase my damage. Oh, you know... You know something I just... Re Did he not show damage numbers? You know something I just realized? Um... Margaret's blue card, I believe, doesn't stack with increased damage stances. So that was the counter. No matter who they attack, the counter go to, goes to them. This is a bot, by the way, as you can clearly see. Um, no matter who they attack, the counter will go to them. So, that card movement I just did right there was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Jesus. I don't even know what I did there. Um, so, let's just use the ultimate and move on. Bro, did, oh my god, this Galfer sealed my Margaret every single turn, man. Uh, maybe I should use a different team. Like, just just, just thinking about the the <laughs> the seals my Margaret just took from the Galfer, I just want to use a different team. Now, let's see his ultimate. His, I mean, Merlin's not going to die, but his ultimate... In combination with putting up a stance or something, it's gonna hit so hard. Yeah, you know what? No Margaret. I already have an increased damage, which I believe doesn't stack with the buff, because I've 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 done it before with another character that has a stance that increases damage. Let's take off Margaret and find someone else that would be better. Because I'm already immune. So I don't need the clans. And I already have increased damage. There definitely might be someone better. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, but I want to try this team. So we got um, Chandler to disable the Margaret I'm going to face, or Guffer's going to face. And then I got immunity on both um, my units here, on my Chandler and my um, Terry. Difficult name to remember, so difficult. Terry. This might be good. Might be good. We'll see. I mean, honestly, I, man, I, I should, I, I, I shouldn't be biased, but I got so shafted on this banner again. I got shafted on another banner that it's so hard to recommend people to summon. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Put up a counter. <laughs> what do we get next? Okay, we got... We got okay cards. We can go for a, uh, a Chandler ultimate if we really want to. See, and the thing is, right? Man, if we can push his ultimate... Maybe I should use an ult rush team with him. I mean, ult rush... I might as well use, like, Lost Vein, right? If I'm gonna ult rush. It's not like... It's not like it's a big deal, ult rushing, right? But you know. Wish I had level 3. Because it would last 2 turns. Not much of a point. To. Um, rank up. Chandler for that. So Chandler is the one with the most HP. I was wishing it was Meliodas. But he took damage. Um, and hasn't recovered. Unlike Chandler. Because I'm assuming Chandler has. Uh, what's it called? Uh. Tarmiel link. So he doesn't have... He doesn't have a counter anymore. Good. We can... Rank you up. Let's take off three ultimate gauge from him. No, no. Okay, 48k. 
that's not bad. You know, he didn't have a damage increase. Because you gotta put up the, the taunt. Or not taunt, the stance. I just assimilate counters to having taunts. Hmm. He's attacking, so he's gonna take a counter. Blue counter. Okay, I wish I could increase my allies' damage as well. But it's fine. Like, as if I could increase my damage, my allies' damage as well, that'd be so much better. Because I got so many, so many Chandler cards. That I had to push his ultimate. You know? Nah, maybe I'm talking nonsense. Okay, we got a classic Margaret Ascanor team. Classic. We're gonna go for um, the usual. We're gonna deb debuff the Margaret. Not enable any ults for next turn. Could have done it with a Galfer instead so he couldn't rank up. Mm. Mm, much to think about. See, look at the Chandler cards I'm getting. I want to use Terry, bro! But I'm getting so many good Chandler cards. Like, what am I supposed to do? Not use Chandler? Chandler's lowering Asconer stats as he attacks true, so he's gonna take almost no damage in comparison. That's good. We're gonna rank up Chandler for that level 3 counter. And we're gonna disable Margaret again, so she doesn't blue card. Do do it! Man, aren't you loving this Chandler showcase? Such a good unit. Nice, nice rank up. We can take off Askinger's ultimate gauge next turn. And the Zay <laughs> the Margaret again. Uh... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> No cleanse for you! And we're gonna increase damage next turn before ulting as well. well what can I say? Chandler's just good. It's good like that. Um, really want to rank him up. But it, I, it's unjustifiable to rank up um, Terry. Use his card and then ult and not just ult with Chandler as well, so... It's completely unjustifiable. Let me increase his damage. Then ult. That power strike ult. See, what, I, what I'm thinking is, right? I'm not even thinking, oh man, his power strike ult means you're good. I'm thinking, bro, imagine how good the festival that will get this will be? Imagine a festival unit with festival stats, not his stats, festival stats that has power strike, ultimate, AoE? That shit gonna just broke it. On him, it's already good, you know? And his stats are like mid. That, whatever festival that gets that, it might be festival at the end, who knows? That ult is gonna be insane. And it might even have something like super stupid with it to go along, like like Margaret's ultimate. Like Margaret's ultimate j doesn't just simply have power strike. She also disables all the enemies. Cause why not? It might have something like stupid, like oh, it has power strike, but also removes all buffs and seals the seals uh gray debuff them from using any card. Like <laughs> crazy shit. Uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. You don't believe me? It's gonna happen. Alright, finally we can actually use, um, our boy. Names are hard. We can finally use our boy. We're gonna double rank him up. So, this is a bot. I'm gonna preface this. Um, for full transparency. We're gonna double rank him up. Put up a counter. I wanna see the, the, that counter damage go. I just... I, uh, honestly, I think that with the Holy Relic, like, after he puts up a counter, or... It is a counter, but I, I meant, like, the stance. After he puts up the stance, 
and he got that increased 20% stats, he's gonna hit so hard, and he's gonna tank much better than that, right? That was a level 3 counter? Oh, get out of here, that was ass. <laughs> That is with increased damage. I mean, I knew, I know they have damage reduction. I know, but like, that was with increased damage as well. Let me do level three. See, like, oh, but they had increased uh, damage reduction. They always have damage reduction. Have you played against Margaret? They always have damage reduction. You gotta account for the damage reduction. Man, that's with Gringo. I mean, I know I'm not using like Margaret. But I'm not using Margaret buff, but I am giving him just as much damage increase. He's getting 50% extra damage, that's what Margaret gives. It's like he has... Think about it, it's like he has a level 3 Margaret buff, except like this, the stat increase, which he would have. Oh, that was a good con. Which he would have if, um, you know, this was with Holy Relic, which I'll get eventually. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. He's not bad. I mean... That's level 3 though. Like, I know it's... it's I know it's type disadvantage. I think with the Holy Relic, he'll be much better. It's just... Not all that impressive. Maybe maybe people find a team that's better for him. I'm trying I'm trying so hard to just not say his shit. I think he's good. It's just My point of comparison for collab characters will forever now be Emilia. It's like Emilia was a broken character. She had the absurd freeze, right? Which wasn't just freeze, it was a freeze that also does damage if it's a level two. And and she had lost Vayne's ultimate. It was like absurd. Like now he has a broken ultimate. That, that power strike ultimate is crazy. But, you know, well make your own judgment. Um, give it a few more days. You know he's not even global yet. Give it a few more days. We might have a better team to use him on. But for now, man, he's good. He's definitely good.